Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today we're going to be learning about how to make an item giver. Uh, let's get started. First things first, you want to have the item that you want it to give you. So let's just make a tool. So here, tool. Uh, I have a video on my channel on how to make tools, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. And we're just going to call this, um, let's do money. Let's make it where they can have money. Uh, can be dropped, sure. And, yep, that's all we need. Okay. So now I'm just going to create a pretty simple part. Um, like, let's lower this to 0 0.5. And then I'll just make this green. Maybe we could give it a new material. Not grass. Maybe something like um, sand or slate. Yep, sand looks pretty good actually. Okay. So now we're just going to drag this here. I'm going to call this handle. And make sure it's not anchored. Move this off the ground. And that's about it. Okay. So now that we have this, I'm actually going to make sure it can collides off. So let's drag this into server storage once you have it done. Now, let's get started. So you're going to learn about click detectors. So what a click detector basically is, is it allows the client to click a object in the workspace. And you can use scripts to see when that click is actually clicked, and you can run events. So, um, like I was saying, with the remote events, uh, you can use replicate storage or workspace. And in workspace, uh, we're going to uh, use uh, remote events there if you want it to actually like um, do this when you click this. Now. Because click detectors don't need, um, they're not fired on the client, you can actually use them and then they work on the server. So we're not actually going to be using any remote events because I really don't like using remote events because they really are unsafe and exploiters can easily abuse them. So it's just safer if the exploiters don't know if there are any remote events. Uh, even if they use DEX, they won't be able to see any. So first of all, let's call this click and this is the part we're gonna click you can name it anything I'm just doing that for fun um, now let's just change it to any color that we want really uh, I'm gonna make it neon and anchored and that's about it now you want to add or insert a click detector you can name this to uh, like anything like click me or anything like that I'm just gonna make sure it's on click detector because that's pretty much what it is and with click detectors max activation distance so this is how many studs away uh, you want them to be able to click it so if you did it all the way over here you wouldn't be able to click it but if you went like actually you'd have to be all the way over here to not click it but if you're right here then uh, you would be able to click it or if you're right here, you'd be able to click it. I'm going to put it at about 16. So 16 divided by 4 is how many blocks uh, it's going to be away. So these four studs. So it's 1, 2, 3. This is how far they're going to be away. Uh, pretty much. Or like this. But yeah, pretty much. So 16 is fine. Now we're going to add a script. We don't need any local scripts unless you're doing it with starter UIs, which I'll show you how to do. Um, I'm going to call this um, give money. All right. So now we're going to do local server storage SS equals to game get servers server storage. Then we're going to do local click equals script.parent local click detector 
equals to click dot click detector. Now we're gonna do one more thing. Local money is equal to SS wait for child money. And now if we did a uh, wait for child then it will wait once you join but I'm just gonna do find first child. Um, so if I did find first child, there we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do click detector dot mouse mouse clicked connect function what to do and now in this function parameters we're just going to do like we can right click or anything uh, but we're not going to do that now there are other things with uh, click detectors so if I did like click dot click detector dot now you can't touch it so it's only for uh, kind of like PC so yeah that's about it now what we're gonna do is we can do um, let's see okay so we want them to get this so we're gonna do local money to give equals to SS or no money clone and then we're gonna do game dot players dot local player now the thing about this is if I did this to the game dot players dot local player um, it's pretty much going to just it's gonna give it to the local player anyway, even if someone else clicks it. So the server can tell when it's clicked, so that's pretty bad. And we can't get the local player from here. So that's what our, our remote events are for. So if you have their remote event, then that's what it's gonna be for. So, but instead of that, we don't wanna get all the remote events set up and stuff like that. We're just gonna clone it to the workspace or Game dot workspace. And then we're gonna do money to give dot position equals to click dot position. Now we don't want to do this because it's just gonna spawn into the click. We want it to be a little bit above. Now we don't want to waste memory just doing multiple parts. So let's create a couple variables. So we're gonna do and we want to have this as universal, so we don't have to just um, like get a certain position. So we're gonna do local pose x equals to click dot position dot x. And now we can actually uh, just copy this three times. Z, y, and x, and then go here, y and z. And now what we're gonna do is for the Y, we're gonna do plus 30. Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad, not 30. Uh, let's do four, because this size is two. Actually, yeah, we'll do two, whatever. Now what we're gonna do is position is equal to vector three dot new, plus X, plus Y, Z. So that's how we made it where it's not going to just um, pretty much uh, get this. So if we did this and we did all of this, then it's just going to get all of the values and spawn inside it. But since we added an offset to it, that's all we need. So we can also add the local offset. So local offset y equals to 2 and then change this to offset y. There we go. So now what we're gonna do here is then uh, delete this, or not delete this. We're going to run it and try it. And as you can see, mouse clicked is not a valid member. Now, the reason why is because, as you can see, this is just dot. So if we did find first child, 
crit detector. Now if we tried it, as you can see, it's still not. So, mouse click is not a valid member. Here's another thing. In click detectors, it's not mouse clicked, it's mouse click. I think. Yep. Now, position is not a valid tool of money. So, uh, the reason why it's not a valid member is because we need the handle. Uh, now, the money handle, it's just cloning it, so we can't get the position. So, uh, let's make sure we change the money part. So, we'll call that money part. Local money part equals to uh, money to give dot handle or we could just do find first child handle uh, it shouldn't really affect anything but you know how it is so let's just do this there we go and now when we click it it does not work um, alright I think I know why so pretty much what's happening here is it's uh, cloning it, but we don't have the parrot. This uh, usually doesn't work, so let's just do money to give dot parent equals to workspace. Boom, it works. Another thing that does not work though about this is I put it on can collide false. Um, that was only for the player, so we can add another script for that. But yeah, as you can see, whenever I click it, it actually makes money, and I can pick it up, and now I have the money. Now, if you want to change uh, the this, the way you hold it, you can do that with the tool grip editor. This is a really nice plugin. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, how to make a item giver. Now, you don't have to do this with tools. You can even make it just spawn something. Uh, just uh, change this to a group or something and then get the primary part blah 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 you know the drill so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one see you later